Texas A&M shuts down their 12th man NIL collective because the IRS threatened them. Ooh. Yeah. What's going to happen there? Why mm. did the IRS threaten them? Are they not paying their taxes or something? They were saying they're a nonprofit. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sneaky. The old quarterback sneak. Um, and then how about the, uh, the, the Northwestern, this Northwestern as a university is the biggest piece of shit in all of, in all of America, in my opinion. Like, the, so their their athletic director, their president, they don't say boo at Big Ten Media Day, right? They have had so many gutless moments in this in this summer. I would say, you know, from a saying no, he's he's not suspended or he's suspended two weeks, and then it's like, you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Public pressure. We're going to fire Pat Fitzgerald. And then, and then really never go in front of a microphone, have zero accountability. And then when a bunch of your coaches show up and I think one player wearing a cats against the world t-shirt with Pat Fitzgerald's number on it. Oh yeah. They come out and they come out and they say, see, they fuck them. Dude. I hope they never win another. I hope they disband their fucking football program. And I never wish for less football. (laughs) I fucking hate them. Uh, They are the worst. They're the biggest bitch institution in all of America, man. (laughs) All of America. I mean, just cut, cut Fitzgerald his money. Look, and I, I don't even know. I don't even know if he knew or not, but I'm just saying who cares? Like the fact, the way that they handled this shows there shows how the fuck they are. I mean, all right. Uh, in terms of a university, they, they are as weaselly as they come. They're the worst, man. I, I cannot. Uh, Derek Gregg uh, releases a statement expressing disappointment in the. T- Get the fuck out of here. You fucking cowards. Cowards. Um. <laughs> Uh, other news that I wanted to talk about, well, I guess also, where did you guys have Washington state and Oregon state landing? Shout out to the chat mentioning that. Uh, it seemed that, that, I mean, I guess the AAC is a possibility, but I would think mountain West is the most obvious. I mean, it I, changes, it changes every day. Just, you know, today it was maybe the ACC is going to grab Stanford Cal the day before that it was the PAC 12 mountain West merger type thing. So who the hell knows? But I, I think if if Kyle and Stanford, if the Pac-12 is officially dead, then it's pretty an obvious jump to the Mountain West. I, see, I, I think San they would Diego welcome State. them in there. San Diego State might be listening to the college experience because I they tried to quickly form this conference. Yeah, of like the best Mountain West schools, the best American, the best American schools, and and I still think this is what should happen. And then the remaining four, I still think that's what should happen, but yeah. it's probably not because the sport never makes sense. But um. <laughs> I, I, how about this tweet by, by Matt Williams? Uh, how does a football team with the 57th best viewership, that is Oregon State, 57th, ahead of Rutgers, ahead of Miami, Florida, ahead of Wake Forest, ahead of UCF, ahead of Arizona, ahead of Louisville, uh, ahead of Colorado, have you know no home? And, they, and never mind the fact that they're one of only four schools in the past five years to have a football team win 10 wins, a basketball team reach the Elite Eight, and a baseball team in the College World Series. It's fucking amazing. It, 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 when you th- when you put it like that, you're just like, how are they getting left behind? Well, it's because TV execs don't care about that. Well, I mean, if the, if six, if they're averaging more viewership than than Miami, the Miami Hurricanes. I didn't. Sorry, yeah, I, I blanked there. What team are we talking about again? Oregon State. Oregon State. No CTE there. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just found that that stat unbelievable. Um, okay. Let's get into it. Uh, I also shout out to the NEC conference and the FCS because they have uh, they have signed a deal with CBS Sports. They're going to do two weekday games this year, trying to get more on national tele- television. I think CBS going to see if on October twelfth. Wagner, the vacuum company, is going to take on St. Francis and Long Island. The fucking Sharks <laughs> are going to take on Central Connecticut State. Guys, more weekday college football. What's not to like? Got Beautiful. On. Absolutely. Brutal. Shout now out make sure we get some lines on those games, sports books. All right. Yeah, exactly. If you got, if you're getting, if you're doing lines on slam ball, damn it. Then, then I want lines on, on FCS. Well, I mean, they always do it, but how about you don't release them on like Friday night? All right. <laughs> Unbelievable. But anyway, subscribe to the FCS college football experience. All right, folks. I want lines on a plate in front of me right now. Oh, That's look at I you. Uh, those bears. Yeah. 